this is Saint Ripsimia. If you were following my story, I I, I told you that uh, there was a great love in the love uh, in the life of our king, and after that love, he got mad. So that story is connected with this girl. Uh, his name is Ripsimia. Now the story is the following: thirty-seven girls fled from Rome when there was a. Uh, in uh, Rome, there was that Emperor Diocletian, and uh, he was torturing Christians. So uh, he fell in love with this girl whose name was Ripsimia, and uh, the girl refused her uh, him because she want she wanted to dedicate her life to Jesus. So she refused, and uh, another with another thirty six girls they uh, fled to Armenia. When Diocletian learned that the girls are in the territory of Armenia, uh, he wrote a letter to our King Tartat that uh, the same Tartat. Uh, that the girls are in your that there are girls in your country and um, among them there is a girl that I love. Uh, pay attention to that niches. Do you see that holes? Mm -hmm. So from four sides, this church has uh, this kind of holes. This is uh, for the protection against the earth, earthquake. Look, when the wave of the earthquakes goes, it goes straight. When it enters somewhere, go uh, goes out, it changes its direction. So these niches, they were for the changing of the direction of the earthquake. Pay attention to cupola. So when the earthquake happens, like the first thing that falls down is that cupolas, the because they are the, nothing holds it. But here it holds. Pay attention, like from four sides, it's sitting on something, and uh, it seems very heavy, but it's not. Why? Because uh, because of that uh, windows. They did it on purpose, big windows, that, that they, it moves the all heaviness of the cupola. So it's really very light, even though it seems very heavy. And from four sides, we have these buffers, these round things you see, it's buffering. So from four sides, we have that buffers, which is also against the earthquake. So from 7th century till now, it stays like this. Many and many architects, not only Armenian architects and the foreign architects, they say that it will stay like as much as it can because like it's very very sustainable. The bell tower has been added later, it's new from 17th century. Inside the church there is also mausoleum of the girl of Ripsimia. Catholicos, the head of the church during that period, because he, he was in love with the face of Ripsimia, he, wa he wanted to build a very, very nice church for, to the honor of this girl. So now let's go, I will show you the mausoleum and some things in the church details. So uh, this is the mausoleum of the girl and here you can see stones, they are symbolizing that the girls were tortured and killed. All the girls uh, who were killed, uh, all of them, they are in the list of our saints, among them Saint Ripsimia. Uh, and this gravestone is new, it's from 20th century, but she is buried here.